Welcome if you're watching this on YouTube. We are here with part one of my Imric the Dragon Prince campaign. Uh, playing as the Knights of Kalador and uh, streaming this over on Twitch just like I did my Altharion series. But recording at the same time and releasing it on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. As I said, streams every Thursday on Twitch. Links in the description if you want to watch it live. But if you can't, fear not, because it will be recorded and uploaded three times a week. Uh, if you're on YouTube, feel free to pop unit name suggestions down in the comment section. We'll add them in for next Thursday's stream. So yes, let's take a look at Imric, our Dragon Prince. Uh, Knights Calador initial challenge is hard. Faction effects. We have Dragon Taming. We have to seek out the secrets of mighty dragons or defeat them for their allegiance. Uh, suitable climate is Mountains. We have the Greater Invocation of Vol, additional bonuses for Dragon Units. Invocation of Eldrazor, improves and grants experience for Dragon Princes, Lords and Heroes. And Recruitment Duration, minus one turn for Dragon and Dragon Prince Units. Lord Effects for Imric, he gives plus 15% campaign map movement range. Uh, draconic Resilience, immune to Mountain and Desert Attrition, Lord's Army. And Upkeep, minus 25% for Dragons and Dragon Princes, Lord's Army. Additional starting units, we have uh, Dragon Princes, we have White Lions of Trace, and we have a Sun Dragon. Playing this one very hard, very hard, obviously it's Mortal Empires Campaign, if I haven't already said. And yeah, that, that's all that needs to be said for now. Let's begin the campaign. In we go. Behold, Prince Himric, you have arrived at the Plain of Bones, ancient graveyard of the dragons, to honor their dead and seek the wisdom of those still roaming the world. Few relics are left, for dark magic once took hold of this place. Furthermore, the dwarfs have committed sacrilege in seeking the dragon's treasures, wantonly despoiling their remains. You must punish their gold lust and purge them from their mountain holds. But. Be on your guard. Other nearby Dawi will not take this lightly and may seek vengeance. There is dark, ancient power to be found in the south. Though you may think twice before meddling here, it may be necessary. For in the distant ocean, a formidable black arc of the Druki has been spotted. Its business unknown. Noble Dragon Prince, these are wild and untamed lands, infested by greedy Dawi, twisted greenskins, and other more secretive vermin. Come what may, the Knights of Kalidor must prevail. Knights of Kalidor must prevail indeed. I'm sure we will under our mighty Dragon Prince, Imric. So yes, uh, those of you on Twitch, if you want to leave unit name suggestions, we'll do it. I'll ask for them basically once we get to a full 20 stack army. Those on YouTube, just drop them down in the comment section and we'll start adding them in uh, in three episodes time. So episode four, that'll be the start uh, of the next stream next Thursday. Yes. How they play. So we've got dragon taming. Most dragons of the world are overcome by slumber. A small number still roam the land uh, the Knights of Kalador can call upon in this time of need. You'll periodically encounter such dragons from whom you can draw knowledge and power or otherwise tame them in battle to gain their strength. Defeating the greatest and most ancient of them will see them join your cause. We've got influence as high elves which we can use to uh, uh, influence uh, other factions and it also can be used to recruit more powerful lords and heroes. Intrigue at court. Um, yeah, that's that's part of the influence system so we can, we can make other factions uh, like each other they can like us or they can hate us or hate other factions so we can kind of start some wars off that way uh, if we want to or at least attempt to by weakening relations espionage uh, high elves use trade agreements to spy on their partners high elf factions have full visibility over the territory of any faction they trade with first chapter objective issued flames of rebirth occupy loot raise or sack four different settlements and we'll get 2000 gold Bada bing, bada boom. So that intro flyover basically told us uh, we hate the dwarves because they've uh, been too greedy and pillaged and mined too deep. Um, we hate the Skaven because they're Skaven. We hate the Greenskins because they're Greenskins and they're over here. And we also hate Malastarblade, who's over on the Dragon Isles. 
which is kind of a bit of a shame that they're an unpleasant climate for the Dragon Prince. But I definitely want to take him out at some point. Uh, but first, we're going to want to complete our starting province, the Plain of Bones. We've got the Fortress of Vorag. We've got uh, Ashridge Mountains over here and Darkhold. Uh, and that's got the, the Graves of the Dragons. It's going to be fun. Uh, Mount Greyhag over there. And then Mount Silverspear, Crookback Mountain. That is Clan... Uh, the Clan Rictus. Um, but there's, it's a separate faction. Because Clan Rictus is Tretch. But that's typical. That's where Clan Rictus has their HQ at Crookback Mountains. And then obviously there's Deathmaster Snitch over here. So I want to wipe him out pretty darn soon. We're not greedy, Lionheart. I just very much appreciate the gold that's down the UK Dwarf. <laughs> oh, dear. Interested in some tactical advice? Yeah, feel free. Oh, vice tactics tips. Welcome on Twitch and YouTube as always. Um, that's 10 turns until the next dragon encounter. Cool. Kind of sounds like a bit like Pokemon. When's the next dragon encounter? We've got, um, Akela here, our, our fire mage. Which we'll, uh, we'll rename her at some point soon, I'm sure. Like me some, some burning head. That's always good. I sense items of In you go. And what have we got? So, yeah, we've got Imric. He starts off with his star lance. Plus 15% speed, bonus versus large plus 10, charge bonus plus 5%, Lord's Army. That's very nice, actually. And then the Star Lance ability, plus 25% armor piercing weapon damage, plus 20% uh, charge speed, and plus 50% charge bonus. And uh, imbued with uh, flammable, 20 seconds, plus 22% weakness to fire damage. That's some good combos to get there. He starts off on his uh, Matera Matera Materius. However, I say that. He's got a horse. He's on a horse. At rank 14, he gets uh, Minathnir, his, uh, his dragon, his loyal drake. Good, good. Got dragon packed. That's nice. Uh, all the stuff up here. Dragon heart. Like it. Ashen fields. Beautiful. Good, good. Right, well, we are going to dive straight on in to the dark hold. The dragon strikes! The Dragon Strike. And we will fight this first battle so we can see everything gloriously in action. Got those bonus units, the uh, Dragon Princes, Sun Dragon, and the White Lions of Trace. So, in we go. Name. So, um, the Stava says, so the first thing you want to do after you get your first province is peace out with the Dwarves, then shank Malice Starblade until he stops moving, uh, then consolidate the Rat Territory. This will also open up some potential trade with the Lizardmen to the south. Okay, sounds sounds fair. Don't hurt the Dowie. They did nothing. They they delved too deep and too greedily. That's what their advisor said at the start of this. We, I, I mean, who's not going to trust that that wizen old man that's been lurking and 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 swapping allegiances between all the factions all this time? He wouldn't he wouldn't steer us wrong, would he? After all this time. <laughs> oh dear. The the regiment of renowned dragon princes is, is beautiful. I saw that in my uh, in my. Uh, Eltharian campaign. Is that the, the, that's our colour, isn't it? Our, our red and red and white. That is a beautiful colour scheme. I'm just going to need a moment to appreciate this armour. That is glorious. I think this is going to be one of my favourite campaigns. Calling it now. This is beautiful. Look at him. Look at him. Glorious. Right. Dragon Prince. Dragon Prince. Let's have a look at him as well. Got, got a big old lance. It's called a lance. That is a nice steed you've got there as well. Nice, nice flappy cape. Oof one mage. And we've got a dragon. Flappy fire boy. It's called a lance. Hello. Oh, God, I love a knight's tale. I need to watch that again. Again. Actually, what's the what's the stats for dragon princes? Dragon armor. Volcano forged armor. I mean, that just sounds brilliant, doesn't it? But they're not they're not anti infantry, not anti large. They're just solid. Sticking with the pointy end. <laughs> I bet all cavalry will die by part three. I. I how dare you? <laughs> against against dwarves. This is quite useful. We want to flap on over to a flank to then do our Sun Dragon breath. Prince Imric, I will claim it. Spearmen. 
Yes. Imrex Immolator. That's a good suggestion. Please don't wreck the Dragon Princes, please. Twitch chat is already asking. Please, please don't kill me. Finish Dwarves, then attack Snitch before Malice. I mean, Malice is off on his island. Yeah, I kind of feel like the sooner we can take out Death Master Snitch, maybe the better. I'm kind of hoping we could actually take him out before he finishes off the... Uh, before he finishes off the Greenskin faction. Oh, Imric, you're well in front, mate. Let's run, run them all forward. Get in there, mate. You'll be fine. Iron Miner, thank you very much for subscribing with the tier one sub. <laughs> Do off your face. Dragon, princes. dragon, dragon, dragon you. Yeah, keep him busy. Do a fireball. Seeing some oh so tasty quarrelers over there. Want them all bunched up so we can do a nice big old dragon breath. Dragon and we'll time that with his uh, flammable. Actually, the best shot would be across here. Prince so, pop that. And pop that. Beautiful. Dragon princes. Dragon princes pull away. Master of battle. I go then. There was just asking if we can name the dragon Banjo's Peacock. Yes, we can do that after Banjo Vaughn, who has gifted so many subs today. Happy with that. Quick tip: peace with the stunties first so you can take Snitch and Malice and they go after them. Snitch is far more annoying than the dwarves uh, if you let him do what he wants out of the game. Yeah, Snitch, Snitch definitely, I don't want him to gain much momentum. Prince Imric. For sure. I can definitely see the merit in uh, getting rid of Snitch first before Malice. Sent by the forge. I will go. Following orders. March. Behold Imric's in a little bit of a bind. But actually... Nah, keep him, keep him in there just for one more dragon breath. It will be done. Prince Imric. For duty. Spearman. As you say. Death to all. Go. Bring the dragon. Prince is back this way. Archers. Emmerich, get out of there. Just wait until you get seven uses of Dragon Breath each battle. Oh, what do we get that with? Is that an ability from... From Emmerich? That's pretty cool. Get in there. And look how short they are. <laughs> Said no one ever when looking at dwarves. Men Louis, Araya, Men Louis. Coming aboard. Prince Imric. Spearman. Acknowledged. Attack. There we go. There's the break. Ready. And a settlement battle, so they all die, so we don't need to continue that. Boom! Decisive first battle. Hacha! Agree with uh, with Rotten Course. Snitch needs to die fast. Yeah, I think we'll go. We'll go for Snitch. The right that gives you three more, and getting one of the dragons gives another. Oh, nice! Cool, 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 cool. Definitely check that out. Oh yeah, check my right. The the right's out. Calador rejoices. Nice. Um, we've already got the capital. I, I will loot and occupy. That's fine. Ooh, the bow of the seafarer. Hello. That's fun. The dragon shall wake. Let me give that to you. Yeah, you have that. You're at range anyway. 
Uh, and you get to have a fireball upgrade. Imric, you're going to get root marcher. Just want that extra marching. Can snitch still use shadowy dealings? I don't know if the AI uses shadowy dealings or not. I don't. I don't think so. So we need to have a look at our diplomacy, but also power of the ruined. bloody tooth. That is 300 income generated, minus 15% construction for all buildings, local province, and vampiric corruption plus one, and gives us some garrison for white lions and sun dragon. Cool. Uh, yes, get you upgraded. We've also got the the graves of the dragons. Which, income 300, public order plus 3. Although, actually, if we repair that, does that go up? No, so it's 300 plus 3. Uh, public order plus 3 untainted. Upkeep, minus 10% for dragon prince. Uh, for dragons and dragon princes, rather. Uh, that's really good. On top of Imric's other stuff already. And then the purified graves of the dragons. That's, yeah, more, more reduction. And allows us to recruit dragon princes at tier 3 from the set one. That's crazy. In before a turn 100 government overthrow by snitch. Yowza. Need to call a dragon Drogon. Yes, there's, there's many, many Game of Thrones references we uh, we need to have in this. Dragon we'll do our first Prince. naming, as I said, of all the units in Imric's army once he has uh, a full 20 stack. That's when I tend to do them. Um, so yeah, we want to go take them out there and finish them off at Ma Mount Greyhag because I'm assuming they've only got the two left. Onward. Plan Helheim. Yeah, they've only got those two, so we'll wipe them out. Uh, that's who, all that we're at war with Actual right now. Service. So Kalidor is a separate faction. We're, we're, we're off, off on an adventure here. It's like what a little separate discuss? faction. Um, so it'd be nice to confederate to get some kind of dual territory going. We don't we don't get an event, do we? To Like Malice does to choose to get it as well. Was I imagining that? Or did someone say that at some point? The Red Cloud. So yeah, we'll leave them. Oh yeah, Richter's clan this. That's it. Verminous Valor. Everyone is super weak. With strength rank 25. That's fine. Get some research going. Go straight through that one. And then we need to get some recruitment. Smashed. So yeah, I might need to cancel Beyond. some buildings. Um, we do not have enough elven, elven spam going on. Uh, don't bother repairing that because we can still recruit, can't we? Yes. Uh, we'll have another spear. Two arches, one spear. We could go global, but we want to keep pushing. Uh, what is the garrison like at the Ashridge Mountains? Not, not good. So that's fine. Yeah, can't repair that one. Ignore that. And end. My faction is basically a col yeah, basically a colony. Can't wait for Belagar to come show you who who who's boss. <laughs> Once you get six sit town cities, you can confederate. Is that is that like a specific uh, requirement or a event chain, or that's just how you did it? But you'll get an event for confederation after getting ten cities. There's rotten course. And Demon Saint said six. Oh, okay. If that's only if they're still alive, though, right? I guess we want to we want to expand quickly. Quest issued. Occupy, loot, raise or sack six different settlements. Uh, return of the prince. Cool, cool, cool. That gives us. Oh, there we go. That's the one. So it is six. Occupy, loot, raise or sack. Oh, that's cool. There we go. There we go. Everyone was like, oh, what, what is it? Ten? Is it six? No, there we go. You're getting the opportunity to confederate with Kalador. Very useful because then we'll have a foothold in Orthwan. Although we won't want to do too much over there. Because we'll be busy this way. But it will at least give us some good trade. Um, a reload time for archers. That is always good. Archery prowess. What do we need for that one as well? We need the Elven Embassy. Uh, which is, yeah, that one. The port one. Right on cue, the game goes, hang on a minute, you want this. I realise we've not taken a look at victory objectives either or talked about them yet. Uh, we will aim to go for a short campaign victory first. And if you guys are still enjoying it, if I'm still enjoying it and we want to see more, then we can carry on for a long campaign victory but yeah focusing on the short campaign victory uh we've got to complete three chapter objectives we've got to maintain control of the following five provinces either by direct ownership or through vassals and military allies western badlands noblar country dragon isles wolflands and we've got to have calador uh we've got to defeat clan eshin grimgore's Ard boys and hag grief uh i mean we're gonna deal hopefully with clan eshin very quickly and then also go after Malice. So it'll just be Grimgore's Hard Boys we need to deal with after that. Ensure three of the following buildings. Fairly straightforward and have five of the following type. Currently we have three. So that's... Well, White Lions are including that. That's, that's nice and easy. What does, what does Long Campaign do on top of that? Long Campaign, we need to do five chapter objectives. Uh, we need to control a 18. Wow. 
So we've got to, we've got to control all of Wolf One as well, basically. Fair enough. Uh, and we've got to destroy Clan Moors as well. That doesn't seem too tough. It's just you've got to do a load more, um, a load more conquering in Wolf One. Yeah, it's fairly straightforward. Cool. Uh, chapter objectives. So we've got to get loot, occupy, raise four settlements. Bonus ones. Maintain 20 units in total. We'll get up to a princely retinue fairly easily. An age of legends. Recruit a hero. Should be easy enough. Destroy clan uh, Helhein. That's what I'm planning on doing. Uh, research two technologies. Also planning on doing. And accumulate at least 50 influence. Should be doable. Should be doable. Roasted Dowie. That's fine, Rock Horse. No worries. Loyalty is all. The game corrected us fairly quickly on the uh, number of units we needed. Uh, I'm going to move... Uh, I, could, I could recruit more troops if I stay here. I don't know if I can then reach that in a single turn. Follow me to glory. I'd like to think I can. So let's get some more troops in here. Um, We could go for rangers. Anti-infantry. Yeah, let's have two. Ah, I can only I can only get one. Okay, fine. Rangers, they they can team up with white lions, so we'll have two spears, and that's a fairly solid force. Uh, I still can't repair that. That's fine. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, other than that, we're good for another end turn. So let's do it. <laughs> Leave Grimgore alone. Hmm. <laughs> Someone did ask a little while ago, uh, when do you get to vote on the next Greenskin campaign, which will be Mortal Empires as well. Um, that'll be once the Grom campaign finishes, although depending when exactly I finish that, I might hold off on starting a green skin Mortal Empires campaign until after, after Troy's come out, so I can do a campaign of that straight away. But we'll see, but the, the voting will be, for the green skin Mortal Empires campaign will be between Grimgor and Azag, because obviously Azag has his own, uh, unique start position now. So those will be the two green skins to choose from. And the green skin Mortal Empires campaign, the kind of general goal with that actually is a super long campaign plan uh, of conquering everywhere that's suitable and raising everything else. So that would be my kind of my attempt at full map conquest. That is a terrible start. Not too bad though. Six down to five. Why not Skarsnik? Uh, I've already played as Skarsnik in a co-op campaign, so I've honestly no interest in playing him again. Not right now. We, but the thing is, I'll be getting all of I'll be getting all of the um, the legendary lords in that campaign. Uh, same same plan with this one. Actually, I'd like to confederate with all the other high elves. We will use the um, recruit defeated legendary lords mod if some of those factions get killed off. I haven't enabled it yet because you can't remove it once it's added in. And it, and it can get a bit squiffy with all the heroes and stuff. And it does obviously allow the AI to make use of it as well. So, yeah, I won't enable it unless we absolutely have to. When's the killing all the elves vote? <laughs> I mean, that'll be that'll be part of the Greenskin campaign. Fear not, fear not. They will cover up the rat spawn. Yes, that's true. Understood. Yeah, because then no armor piercing. It might be okay at flanking a bit. Dragon Prince. Fireball. Dragon, hear me. Serve the king. Orders received. Advance, master of battle. Battle awaits. I need their lines to. Oh, good charge, Dragon Princess. Yeah, I need their lines to be nice and solid before I. Uh... Do a dragon fire. Quickly now. As you say, we away. Calidor's fury. Okay, okay. Yeah, I need to enable it now. If actually, yeah, I I don't need to enable it like this first episode because I don't think any of any of the factions that we want to confederate with are going to get killed off. Like Avalon, um, Nagareth, should all be fine. I'll, I'll probably enable it next stream, but this first one will probably okay. It hasn't quite gone to plan with my dragon fire. The 
duty! Rain death! Asurian guides us! Just get them. Oh, crispy dwarves! And one or two crispy elves, but we won't worry about that. Don't don't talk about crispy crispy a elves. Challenge. Forget forget that happened. Blessed by ball. Forward. Archers. Orders received. Going abroad. Let's just slaughter Setting that unit ball. if we can. Dragon, Dragon princes, princes, keep going. You're just wrecking their back line. Big old clump of miners there that need to die. That's where the next um. The phoenix rises. The next shot's going. Prince Emric. Here we go, crispy dwarves again. They try and get the spearmen away. Oh dear, much burning. Ancestors. Much burning. Oh no. It's fine. They're broken. Behold, the oh, yeah, I was going to say, apart from the slayers. Spearmen. Boom. Om nom nom. Dead slayers yet? Come on. There we go. Any bets on when Lionheart gets his cav killed? Hey, you've got to guess the, the correct turn number to win a, win a prize. But hey, hey. <laughs> Caledorian would be, would consider it an honor to be burnt to death by Dragonfire, so it's all good. Oh, there we go. That's explained away. Nice and easy. Don't need to worry about that now. Yeah, sorry, did you order your dwarves original or crispy? Turn 54, turn 12. Whoa, turn 12, turn 5. Hey! How dare you? Tribute. Loot knocked by again. That's the whole province. Completed. Um, we'll probably have a rebellion. That's fine because that's... Um, we can blade nice. That's free... Free XP. The Asser are troubled. Ashish Mountains. Is it anything unique there? No. Thank you very much, I mean, for scrolling with tier one sub for seven months. <laughs> Draw off your face. Uh, we will get at the dark hole oh, that upgraded. Uh, we just need to go finish them off over there. Greatest of the and then we'll princes. ping on round. We'll have to come back for the uh, the rebellion. Uh, so it could happen next turn. I don't want it to happen next turn because we won't be back there in time. Although we do get the Sun Dragon. Grand Prince is so OP they won't get killed. That's what I'm hoping. I'm almost tempted. Actually, when we take Mount Greyhag, I'm kind of tempted to actually raise it rather than hold on to it. Just because public order might be a bit of an issue. I'm wondering if that might be better just to, to do that rather than hold on to it. Although if we if we take that, don't we complete our first uh, chapter objective? No, we need one more after that. But we can still raise it actually. Yeah, that still counts. Strategy beyond strategy. Uh, Soul player, when do we get that? Twelve. And yeah, that one's that one's do that. Uh, dragon horn plus twenty four melee attack. Yep. Yes, please. And then we'll power him up as well. Because he is a strong boy. Lord of Dragons. It's a decent hex. And heroic killing blow is what he gets at the end. Damn. Blazing Lance. Boom. If you're peace with the dwarves, they can act as the buffer between Grimgore and Rictus. What with these these guys? I mean, I wouldn't quite say they act as a buffer because I'm quite exposed here. Like Azul, sure. But we're not at war with Azul just yet. To war. You'll dare. But I wouldn't mind getting non-aggression with them before uh, so that we could then go east. But like these guys, we might as well take them out. They'll target the dwarves over you first. Hmm. 
True. I might. I think I just want to take them out though, just so that they're gone. Imric. I haven't decided if I'm gonna raise it or occupy it first yet. We will see. That's all good there. Um, yeah, I don't actually want the rebellion happening this turn, so I'm going to take them off taxes just so that we can get that built. And then, hmm, Prince's responsibility is still going to be bad. No, it's fine. Yeah, I don't, don't want it happening this next turn. So we'll take the hit of not having that income. I should have recruited something, actually. That's fine. That's all good. All right, yeah, they're building up there. I just want to wipe them out so they're gone. Blazing Lance combined with Burning Head. I think your condition is getting worse. Yeah. We're playing as the Knights of Kalidor. Imric, the Dragon Prince. Right. So, we're going to want to force. March all the way over here. Not Finish them off way. at Mount Greyhag. Yeah, it can be a rebellion. Next turn, anyway. So, we'll tax them again. We will set that to upgrade. You're about to be finished, though. I serve the, the Phoenix King is wise and You got two regions. Oh, Come then, messenger. I could oh, I don't have any money that could increase relations. Although we can only do that with Oh we can do it we can do it with dwarves as well, that's cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh can't get any heroes in there. Okay. End the turn. We get a rebellion. Oh it's green skins. That's fine. No, this isn't Steel Faith Overhaul. I would put that in the title if it was. Uh, only mods we're using is the better camera mod and the building progressions icons mod. I like me some vanilla, to be honest. Let you build up quick. Stop that. Would that be pronounced Thick Bugman? Or Thike, look Thike Bugman? Be ready for anything. Thike Bugman, I guess. Imric. Will prevail. Uh, we'll fight. We'll fight again. No I just don't want to take too many unnecessary casualties. Thoughts on this settlement, though, Twitch chat. Keep Mount Greyhag or uh, raise it to the ground. I feel like public audit could be a bit of a pain if we held on to it. So I might just sack and then raise it. Thank you very much, Ghost Warrior, for the 100 bits. Barbecue the Dowie. I will. <laughs> Thank you. Start deployment. Would you like a side of uh, side of sauce with your barbecue dowie? As you say. With many fine sauces. Without fail. Your crispy dowie today. Keep it. We're going after Skaven anyways. But we're not going after those Skaven. We're going to go after Clan Eshin. Phoenix Sun. Raise it. You don't deserve the mountains. Dan, the UK Dwarf, I'm starting to feel you really don't appreciate me burning up your kin. Spearman. Ah, crap, didn't mean to do that. Wrong unit. Dragon is what I meant, over there. Wolf one mage. I think he's saying raise it. Yeah, I reckon... Well, we'll see how much sacking values from it. I mean, it does slow us down for another turn. But I might have to do it. Leggard, thank you very much for subscribing with, with a Twitch Prime. <laughs> You're off your face. Welcome to the castle. Archers. No, you're, you're definitely spears. Loyal. <laughs> Archer. No, no, no. Come on. We know what you are. And it's not that. I want to get a nice burning head down the line. I think I'm probably going to have to charge them though. Go, Dragon Princess, go. For all those bolts land and they'll miss. Ha 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 ha. Loyal. Quickly now. Archers. Going. Fire in there. Man, there's definitely some burning headspace. Boy, 
Burn them all! Beautiful. Oh, it's still going. That's glorious. How do I get the units to attack different units all at once? Uh, so you have to put them in a group. And then you press Control G and it locks the group. So you see the little padlock. It goes from unlock to lock. And then if you give an attack order, they'll attack forward in a, in a solid line. That's the dragon horn. Go, Dragon Boy, go. And Heart is secretly a pyro, a pyromaniac. I mean, there's a reason why in the... Uh, in the Divinity streams, I'm all about burning. I'll go through all those quarrelers as well. Not too much damage, though. Sad. Spearman. For order. Winds of magic rise. Onward. White lions. Locating. Glory be. Ready. Point blank. Fireball. No. Getting a bit dicey here. Dragon princes pull back. I will claim it. Fury of the Forge God. Crown Prince moving. Really? I've got, to, I've got to get clear line of sight. So I've got to go around this way. Spearman, to the fray. Sit up. Yes. Should do it from here. Lacoy, there we go. Get a bit too close. Glory is mine. For order. Weapons ready. To the fray. Battle call. Death to all. Attack. Winds of magic rise. Might of the there we go. There's the break. Spearman. Mark this day in the book. Mark this day in the book. <laughs> what book? It'll be burnt. Beautiful. Their cavalry is fine. It got 204 kills. It just took a lot of actual health damage rather than losing too many unit entities. I think they only lost 10. Gobbo <sighs> impression. We use the best at burning stanties. We'll be burning Gobbo soon. Um, sacking. Remove this distasteful place. Sack it and then raise. That's going to be the following turn. We'll get some replenishment. But if we raise it right now, then we can we can move on. I think we've got the rebellion. will build up for a little bit. We probably have time to do it. Their yeah, finery let's... belongs to Calibre. Sack and then raise. What's the saying? Raise. I'd sack a piece out so that Richter's clan is there's another enemy. Yeah. Every turn counts when trying to take out Snitch. That's true. 
Yeah, let's go with raise. Does not it's not that much money. Then they're gone. The Bye-bye. Invocation of Eldrazor. Noise. Didn't even realize I should have checked through those. And... Well, hates the elves, precious. Smelly pointy weakness in their stupid leaf food. Give us meat and fish raw and wriggling. That was from Dan the UK Dwarf. Uh, I think where he's a little bit upset about the dwarven crispiness that's been going on so far. Why, why be... Why be? Do you, do you want to be crispy too? Thanks, Chocolate Rain, for you. For the 100 bits. <laughs> Um, Bowmaster tends to be always good. Have we got some Dragon Prince's charge bonus for them? That also gives them more melee attack. Skymaster, I'm assuming that is a Dragons. So it would make sense to actually boost them for Imric because we like to we like to role play. We like to theme our armies. Yeah, <laughs> then the UK door is very salty. Give us more gift to Calador. What so they'll they'll like me? Um, could could do, but we'll actually get the confederation option anyway. We don't, I don't think we need to butt them up. We'll just get the option right once we complete the the quest. Um, do I want to power up my dragons first or my dragon princes? That's the question. That's just their weapon strength and charge. Hmm. I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for Vanguard Master first just because that also gives melee attack for them. Melee attack and charge bonus. Which will be very nice. Yeah, let's do that. And Ghost Warrior for the 100 bits. The only good dwarf is a crispy one. Indeed. <laughs> Chewie agrees. And we... Probably what Kindle Flame is quite a weakness to fire. That would be good. Yeah, that'll go together nicely. We get a Sun Dragon at 22, so we won't bother with any of the other mounts until then. Don't want to waste any money. Distracted. Can we force March for a bit of movement? No, we can't, but we'll get back. Let's deal with that rebellion pronto. So we've now got no enemies right now, which is good. Behold the Phoenix Core. Uh, let's hope it stays that way for a little bit longer. And then what was that? Uh, Return of the Prince. Occupy, loot, raise, or tactics, different settlements. So yeah, we've got to we've got to press the aggression. I mean, part of me says go go smash through the red cloud so that we get that quickly. Because if we if we don't do that and we go straight for snitch, Master of Drakes. then we I don't know we might I don't know how quickly Calador gets taken out or not to be honest. I'm not picking a cavalry skill. Not sure if the skill is usable on dead cavalry. <laughs> oh dear. Then the UK Dwarf is so salty. He's uh, like the Ant Atlantic Ocean. But we definitely want walls in there. Zog right off. Zog right off. Right. End turn. No, leave green skins alone. So you go for snitch first. I'll need to get. I'll need to get my army back up to a full stack. I reckon though. Oh, I didn't take a look at the invocations. No. Uh, Archery prowess, good. Um, anything for dragons early on? Guessing not. No, that'll be over here, right? Some something for dragony dragons, or will it be even further along? It'll be all the way over here. Dragon princes, yeah. So we've got to get all the way through that. Dragon bond. Hmm. And show the game settings. Yes, I'll show you the settings I'm running the game on. Uh, we'll go for... Yeah, weapon strength spear walls always a good one. So I could recruit troops, but we need to force march back pronto. Hotwood for Calador. That was rather a... Uh... <laughs> Let's have a look at those rights. Um, invocation of Isha. That is immune to, immune to attrition all armies. Cash replenishment plus 8%. Untainted plus 10. That's quite nice. Uh, invocation of Zurian is influence two per turn. Construction cost minus fifteen percent for all buildings. Public order plus four. Uh, invocation of Eldrazor. Didn't actually know what the unlock requirement was for that. To be honest, if anybody does know, do let me know in the comment section. Uh, we got it fairly early on. That is plus two hundred percent experience per turn for lords and nobles. Plus fifty percent experience gain for lords and nobles. 
And then armor piercing damage plus 25% for lords, embedded heroes, and dragon princes. Diplomatic relations minus 15 with high elves. Melee attack plus 10 for lords embedded with uh, embedded heroes and dragon prince. That's actually, yeah, that's quite powerful. I'll probably, uh, it's 10 turns. I'll wait until we're about to attack Snitch and then pop that. Um, more casualty replenishment right now actually wouldn't be the worst thing. But if I pop that, I won't be able to do that for, it would be 10 turns. Or is it, because you can't, you can't have multiple rights going at the same time, right? Yeah, Clannish and have armor piercing on all their on all their unit on all their missile units, don't they? Five turn cooldown. So if I pop the invocation of Isha right now for the extra replenishment, which would be good, um, we'd have to wait five turns before we could do invocation of Eldrazor, which probably would work out perfectly with us wanting to recruit some more units. I think that's sound plan. So let's go for that, and we can have a looky. Five turns. Yeah, that's fine. Good shout. Um, Lacey so yeah, thank you very much for that. Yeah, get all that punishment. Um, we will end the turn, but first, you guys want to quickly see my graphic settings. So, running at 2560 by 1440. There we go. All PC specs down below on Twitch and on YouTube on the About tab. Basically, everything on Ultra except for Shadows, I highly recommend, even if you have the most insane PC 2080 Ti, run them on medium because. Oh, over medium, I don't really see any drastic visual change. There is quite a quite a heavy uh, FPS impact. I find medium is sort of the, the good middle ground. Yes, you could save even more FPS if you went to low or off. But honestly, at low, they start looking pretty bad. And at off, I really don't like units without shadows. Um, so, yeah. Medium, I think, is honestly well, a happy medium. <laughs> look at Great Invocation of all. Oh, yeah, I didn't look at that one. Yep, 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 yep. They're going to attack me at the Fortress of Vordag. That is fine. Uh, Great Invocation of Vol. That is a dilemma. Will offer a powerful item. Hello. Enables flaming attacks all armies. Boom. For that, we need to research three technologies. Okay. Vol's Hammer, obviously. Ability Breath. Plus three for all Dragon Breath attacks. Amazing. Burn, 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 burn. Um, and armor plus five for Swordmaster of Hoeth, White Lions of Trace, Phoenix Guard, and Dragon Prince units, all armies. That is beautiful. Keep on running back. We'll be able to break them next turn. Uh, definitely get some defenses in there, although the, we should probably get the growth building. No, get defenses first, Lionheart, because otherwise it's going to bite you in the butt. Well, actually, a Skaven is going to bite you in the butt. To be specific. Come then, messenger. Spit mm. out. Soon, soon we'll be able to get non-aggression with them, which is fine, because then we know our west is slightly secured. Iron Mind says, watch my people take your capital uh, from your knife ears. <laughs> I'm loving how invested all you guys are. I love it. I love how keen you all are. Bless you. How loyal you all are to your, to your Warhammer races. How expensive is my setup? Um, it, if you wanted to copy exactly what I have, it, it'd probably be in the realm of around three and a half, four thousand pounds. Oh, nice. Anything. We can we can knock it off the now. Dragon's Rage. Dragon's Rage. That is quite a big army. Uh, Twitch chat. Do you want to see it fought or auto resolved? Say fight or auto in Twitch chat. Uh, it could be fun to burn up some green skins, but it is massively in our favor. So up to you guys if you want to see multi-dragons in action. Auto, 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 auto fight, auto, lots of auto. Okay, okay, no worries. Uh, time rocket. Take care and enjoy. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, you guys saying auto resolve. Yeah, the thing is, the thing is you don't need to spend three and a half, four thousand pounds to be able to play this game on these settings. Uh, my... My hardware is massive overkill for most of the games I play. The reason why it's overkill is because when you're streaming and when you're recording, you're taking extra resources from the PC uh, that could otherwise be used for game performance um, and things like that. So it's, it's good to have those performance overheads. Like, I've got an i9 CPU. You don't need that for gaming. Like, no one needs an i9 CPU to just game. Um, if you want to stream and do lots of heavy rendering and things like that, then yeah, maybe maybe it's beneficial. Or if you're if you're AMD 
Um, if you're into AMD, then go for go for some Ryzen stuff. I've, I've got a Ryzen build as well with a Ryzen 7700X, and that is amazing as well. Uh, magic resistance. Let's pop that on you guys, and we will replenish. Prince of Canada. Yeah, you, you can get a decent PC that will play this for mm, around a thousand pounds, thousand one hundred. Get a PC that will run it below that as well. All depends on what sort of settings you want and how long you want that those that part investment to last for, basically. Invocation of Zurian. Noise. That is a good one to have. In fact, we'll probably... Mm, I'd say pop that next, but we want to do the other one, Eldra Resort. We're going to jump on in so we get even more replenishment. With that money, we... Uh, Lothian Seaguard... At this stage, I'm honestly not bothered by getting the regular Lothian Seaguard. I want the ones with shields. But... If I spam all them out, I wouldn't need more spears. We were going to get some more rangers, won't we, against the Skaven? Because they're they're pretty they're pretty decent. They've got forest stride as well. What's their speed like? Forty. Yeah, I feel just like more archers, and we've got the spears anyway. But two more rangers. Um, we could. Hmm, we'll probably do another turn of replenishment because we're not going to be at full, full strength anyway. Waiting for RTX three thousand to upgrade your ninety Ti. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'll go up to whatever the, the top RTX card is. Top 3000 one. Um, yeah, more Vanguard Master. So that starts giving them melee attack as well, which is going to make them even more disgusting. Uh, and we're going to go for... Cascading Fire, Fire Cloak, Flaming Sword of Rune. Yeah, we'll go for that. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, I think there, there's, there's debate at the moment whether they'll call it the 3080 Ti or the 3090 but yeah, whatever the, the top end one is, I'll go for because overheads be great. Um, and plus, I utilize the NVIDIA recording codec, which at the moment reigns supreme compared to AMD's offering, alas. So uh, I'll be team green, team NVIDIA for quite some time still. Quest successful! Uh, I didn't even know we had to do quest. <laughs> okay. Embed a mage into the following army. We've already done that, so we gained some influence. Thank you very much. So that's for our empowered armor of Kalador. I didn't even check his stuff. Oh, Red Cloud are dead. So we know where Skaven is. That's good because we can push straight through those settlements. Wax and Wayne. That's also okay. Yes, we've completed that. Complete the Great Invocation of Vol. Right. Ah, uh, that's good. But I want to do Eldrazor first. Snitch encountered. Yes. Clan Eshin is here. To be fair, I'm trying to remember with my campaign. Didn't I? I with Clan Eshin, I went and took out Malus first, right? Then I turned back up this way uh, when I played as Snitch. Um, yeah, I'm going to stay in here to recruit, actually, because I, I could go out. I don't want to get caught out, though, because they'll, they'll ambush me. Uh, we need one more archer. I'd like one more ranger. And then let's ruin my perfectly balanced even number of archers with another one. That sounds good to me. 1440p for YouTube uploads soon. Uh, my All my YouTube uploads are 1440p except my live stream recordings. Because I stream at 1080p, um, my recordings have to be the same as the, as the stream the settings. At least, uh, actually, hmm. Actually, no. I, mm, ooh, they're actually, in Streamlabs now, you can separate so many things up. I might actually be able to record them at 1440p now. Might look into that, but I, I, previously you couldn't, you couldn't record at a different setting to your stream. Uh, and streaming at 1440p would be pointless because no one has the bandwidth for that. Most of you just be like, lagging or you just wouldn't have been choosing that option so very little point will i do a full dragon army with imric um i probably won't do a full dragon army with imric so i i like i like to theme my armies for sure so he'll definitely have probably at least four dragons um maybe maybe even six because there's, there's three types of dragons right so i could go for two of each um yeah maybe six dragons but i don't think i'll do a full army of them because i still like to have some semblance of balance um but yeah, I, I don't. I don't tend to go for the necessarily the most efficient armies. I like to go for themed builds with each of my each of my lords and what have you. Um, that's just the way I play. Uh, that's annoying. There's a river crossing there. I should get as close as possible and go into ambush. <laughs> Try and ambush snitch. Ah, ah, ah. Oh no, he's over there. <laughs> Sneaky snitch. <laughs> We're not at war with him yet, though, are we? What's the chances, though, that he's going to declare war on me, though, right now? Hmm. 
<laughs> Just happy to get four uh, four ADP. Uh, Benito, I would honestly ha highly recommend taking a look at Overclockers. It's where I get all my PC parts from, uh, and they do some really good custom PC stuff where you can actually choose within a specific price range and then tweak the system, or you can reach out to their to their sales team. Uh, tell them I sent you and what you're looking to, to do, what your price range is, and they'll they'll kit you out with an awesome custom PC. Uh, very high that he will jump on me. Very high chance he'll jump on me. Wait, I watch videos at 40... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watching watching videos where it can buffer is totally different to watch, trying to watch it live. Um... The live feed would just constantly buffer and you'd, you'd keep skipping it and missing it. Whereas a video can buffer a bit, let it play and carry on. Um... There's also Swampland, watch attrition. Yeah, I'm very close the to that. Dragon shall wake. I feel like, Marvelous. actually, I'm going to go with my original plan. I'm going to Ambush Dance, so hopefully he can't see me. I bring he might go towards Darkhold, but then at least I'll know where he is and we can move in on him. Right, we want... We need one more bit of research and then we'll have done our mission to unlock the Greater Invocation of Vol. Uh, yeah, let's get Militia training early on because otherwise that won't be that useful for us when we're not recruiting those units anymore. Okay, okay. Let's get ready to get snitched. People arrested. I will see you burn. Here we go. Here's war. <laughs> and he's gonna go straight for the dark hold. Uh, we do. We get a sun dragon, so we're gonna probably lose, but we will fight and kill as many of them as possible. That's the plan. That's the plan. Yeah, in a in a couple more once once we've once we've got rid of Snitch's army with Imric, uh, we'll do we'll add in some names for Imric's army. But yeah, so these guys are pretty potent. Armor piercing. Let eep. Even uh the Skaven, the Skaven slaves get it? It's just is it just night runners, isn't it? I don't think they've actually got any Skaven Slave Slingers. They're all the Night Runners. Night Runners and Gutter Runners. Warp Grinders are potentially nasty. What's their range again? It's quite short. Yeah, let's go over here because there's not as many ranged units. And harass them with the Horse Archers. It shall be done. What turn is this? Honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> um, we'll go with the Cavalry... Uh, over here as well. It shall be done. Nope, not, not, no, bad group. Don't go that way. Spearman. That we will sit over here. Without fail. Dragon will go there. March. There's a little bit of high ground here, so I'm going to pull up say. to that. We go forward. Asa forward. Moving out. Advance. Try and pull that army apart a fair bit. Understood. A pace. It shall be done. Acknowledged. Understood. Get the dragon prince is behind as well. I'm going to cut through them. Uh, Typot, we've already, uh, I think we're going to call the dragon after Banjo Vaughn. Uh, but we did say we, we, we're going to have a lord after Matt from our Authorian campaign for his very generous charity donation. But yeah, Matt, Matt will definitely be a lord. We'll have Matt the Generous again. Rip Cav. <laughs> this cavalry is allowed to die. It's fine. It's okay. This is, this is the settlement battle. We're probably always going to lose it, but it's okay. Okay, there's our charge on the night runners. Let's keep these guys busy. That will hurt a bit. Okay. 
Come on, Dragon Princes. Oh, he went straight into Spears. Ah, GG. Sneaky Skaven. That's actually really... Really smart from the AI, actually. I know it's like a super dumb move from me, but actually pulling the Spears over to cover them. Smart. Yeah, rip, rip my cav. What we wanted to do is this. Pull all these guys up over here. So that my cavalry can get in behind. And do some damage. Pull back! Orders received. We away. Quickly now. Loyal. Asurian guides us. We're always gonna lose this one. But it's about how much damage we can do. Dragon, get out of there. And my heart clutch the battle. I'll be Dragon very Prince. surprised if I can. Like if they didn't have armor piercing, then I'd say there might be a chance. Dragon but the armor piercing makes them super deadly. For duty. Right, there is a, an amazing breath attack through there. Dragon Just need to break them. Get here before these guys all break and we're all dead. And before everybody just gives up. Quick, 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 quick. Burn them all. Yeah, not super effective. Oh dear. Wow, yeah, the Dragon Prince is getting melted. Lionheart seeing his cavalry die. Who'd have thunk it? all just spears over here. There's some gutter runners that way. But I think we're dead. We go. I'm hoping the starting unit of Dragon Princes survives this. That started in Imric's army. These just regular skaven slaves are going to be out of ammo real soon. I need them all bunched up so I can get another dragon breath going. There's some of them here. Oh, dear. Bruh, flap, flap away, dragon. Right, you're out of ammo. And turn around and charge. A nice big clump of them over here, but I don't know if they're, all, if they're bunched up enough. Right, let's go for the warp grinders and hopefully go through the clam rat spears as well. And then try and take out the walk grinders. So a pretty strong unit. Oh, no, dragon's given up. No, that's it. That's it. Decisive defeat. Not surprised. Uh, he's lost 582. Oh, Imric's got a lot more archers, so he'll be, he'll be fine. 157 kills with the dragon. 164 with the horse archers. 66 with the dragon princes. Yeah, not have a good time. They're too, they're too heavily armored, a bit too slow. And went up against uh, went up against uh, Snitch and his armor piercing. Probably should have focused more on um, on taking out a single unit to at least wipe one out. I mean, the cab weren't getting out of that alive, were they? So it's the fine. The herald of an ancient, powerful dragon has appeared nearby, my lord. This is most fortuitous, for you have long sought to commune with such a creature. In fact, it is the very reason you roam outside of Althuan. Dragon sighted. So, if we go back there, we get 20 turns remaining. Would it be better to go get another... Probably would be get, better to go get another dragon and then go after Snitch. 
right? We can't reach Snitch right now. Ready, we don't want to get too close in case he jumps on us. Snitch first. Look at my income. Mm, that's true. Yeah, we can't afford the upkeep of another dragon. Very Strat true. Beyond um, we can reach Dark Hole from here, but I'm going to want to go again ambush because I don't want to get jumped on by Snitch. So we'll wait here. Oh, you have to fight a quest battle for each dragon. Oh, that's kind of cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, at least we've got defenses at Fortress of Vordag, so Snitch will not be able to take that. Such fast end turns. Beautiful. Now, we don't know if Snitch is still, is still there. That's the thing. We don't know where he may have sneak stabbed off to. I am going to... What's the next level of Burning Head? Increased area effect. Yeah. I'm going to go for that. We've got to hope that he's still in Darkhold. Here we go. March for Calador. He's still here. Perfecto. Right, I want to rematch, even though it's a massive order resolve in our favor. I'll win. I always do. I have a feeling that may not be quite so true, although it is a lot of a lot of Skaven slaves who didn't have enough troops to do to do it. These fools have Let's no chance. Here we go. Right. Ah, that's this map. That's fine. Hold the ridge. As you say. Uh, hold the ridge. Yeah, we'll just, I was thinking we put spears on the flanks, but they don't have any cavalry. Archers. So I'll have them in the center to hold the solid center. Loyal. Mm, yeah, pop you guys over there. As you say. Have you guys... You guys. A bit close that way. Dragon Princes. Go, go, go. Dragon back there. Prince Imric. Imric. And my mage. Good. Move them all up to the high ground. Quick, 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 quick. Claim it. And let's burn some ratty boys. Vengeance for the Azur. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Prince Imric, witness me. I'm straight in there. Dragon Princes. It will be done. Loyal. Orders received. Setting for. Get a really good burning head in here somewhere. Serve the king without fail. Understood. Right through there, we'll do it. Oh boy. Should have put it slightly further away from my unit. Snitch. Understood. Keep fighting. Beautiful stuff. We just need to break them again because they're in a settlement, so we don't Prince completely Imrish. wipe them out.
Get him. Bring down the Death Master. Give him a good lancing. To victory! Dragon's duty. It will be done. Orders understood. Understood. Without faith. Spearmen. Understood. The Dragon Tamer. Get him. How can you miss a point blank fireball? Uh, with great difficulty. <laughs> so here we have the mighty Sun Dragon. It's been roaming the plains for many weeks, and at long last, it's found its afternoon snack, which so happens to be on this occasion some roasted rat boys that have fallen foul of the dragon's temper. They'll be charred and roasted before being served with a side of greens and then gobbled up in one or two gulps by this oh-so-wondrous sun dragon. Got to be the full break any second. The full shatter. Dragon princes. Prince Imric. Locating. I want to see if I actually get. Uh, he's just going to escape. I say escape. He's dead anyway, but I want to finish him off. Uh, we're going for another two and a half hours. Uh, what could be up, dog? We've been going for um, an hour 15. 347 kills with the mage. Mwah. Dragon Prince is 300. Nine heart sucks at cavalry, my ass. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Yes, yes. Um, we'll just occupy that. Dark Hold is mine. Where is the standard? Ah, oh, yeah, it's bugged, isn't it? Where we're not getting the... We're not getting the thing, the traits for defeating characters, are we? Ah, uh, is there a mod that fixes that? Yet yeah, for the beta patch? Put on using your tier 5 carry against their tier 0 infantry. Hey, silence. Silence, Mendel. Stop it. You can get them if you order resolve. Oh, it's just if you fight manually, it doesn't work. Ah. Uh. Can Crescent Incendiary Mage be called Fried Friendly Farex 10? <laughs> I probably want like a, a first name as well. I don't like just like really obscure, abstract kind of like branding as a, a, or like random words as such. I'd like to have some kind of name formed out of it. But I'm sure we can do something the, 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 the Friendly Fired or something like that. I just have to order resolve them, okay, to get the traits right. We should we should be able to um, fight Snitch again. We'll get the Vanguard Master finish. That's made my Dragon Prince's even more power. Forty nine melee attack. Charge bonus of one hundred and one. You. Master of Drakes. Right. We'll name all those units in a little bit. Uh, what do we want to upgrade first? We need we need more money, don't we? we need more money. We could. Oh, I know why. It's because here we don't have the Grave of Dragons anymore. So I could upgrade that. It's going to take three I'm going to destroy that. I'm going to upgrade that as well. And then we'll build that back. We don't need another Greatest barracks right now. So that's okay. Commandment available. Uh, yeah, we want... We could go for tax rate. Camping up movement range. Enemy armies. Starting to turn this region. No, no, no. We will, we will want construction cost for all buildings. So in fact, actually, we won't upgrade that this turn. We will save our money and wait for that to be in. Frank the Friendly Friar. I quite like that. That's cool. Does the button for the level up screen have no sound effects or is it just bugged? I think it has no sound effect. I think there is a bug fix mod for the traits. 
If anyone wants to link me to it, if they can find it, do let me know. Okay, Clan Clan Rictus, uh, or the Rictus Clan this is now all us. Prestige grows, my lord. News of your conquest spreads far and wide. Your developing power is noted by even the most distant of kings and bestial lords. Boom. Oh, the sound effect is bugged. Oh, okay. Friendly Fire Frank. I quite like that. Um, although all the all the mages are females, aren't they? So we need we need a we need a, a, an app name. Uh, Frankie. There we go. Frankie. <laughs> hmm. How can we turn Frank? Frankie. There we go. Uh, so we've done the Flames of Rebirth. Good. Knights Caldor. Yeah. Richter's Clan Nest. That's as long as we make sure that's got the Asher are troubled. Got walls soon, then we should be okay. Uh, we'll go and do that battle, I guess. Or, or do you think we should push against Snitch and wipe him out while we can? Shadows. While he's weakened. We've got 18 turns to come back and get that. Pride of Ulster. Don't fight the battle. Get even and grab the influence buff. get that one. I was going to go for the invocation of Eldrazor just so that we powered everybody up when we're fighting Snitch for the melee attack. Push against Snitch. Quest battle for has a lot of Tomb King Elite units. Okay. I mean, we can we can still do it, right? Um. Yeah, I think we should wipe him out first and then I'll come back and deal with him. You're in a firefight. Friendly Fire Fiona. Actually, I quite like that. Friendly Fire Fiona, Friendly Fire Fa Frankie. Friendly Fire Fiona sounds pretty good. Um, that one is quite nice for the construction cost, actually, isn't it? You can get other buffs from the dragon, but they they can't, they cost gold. If What happens if I don't take this quest? If I let that time out, do I never get it again, or does it come back round after a certain number of turns? You don't have to fight the dragon. You can get other things from them. Oh, it will come back. It cycles round. So, we, the thing is, I'd like to try and do this first one, as it's kind of a tough challenge. I'd like to, I'd like to give it a go. It's not surely not impossible to do this early on. So maybe for that we save El invocation of Eldrazor for that one. Or actually, great invocation of Vol. That's flamey attacks. We'll want that for it actually. That's really good, and all the breath attacks. You'll see what's available. Hitting that, just get an event, the option for the quest battle. Quest battle won't be at that spot. It'll most likely be out in the desert. Okay. Um, for now, then, we'll, we'll we'll go for Invocation of Azurian. We won't, I'm not going to go for that. I'm going to finish off Snitch first, then we'll come back and do the dragon. We've got 18 turns. That should be more than enough to deal with Snitch and then come back. And if not, then we'll get another one. Yeah, so let's let's finish off Snitch first, because then if even if this battle's really tough, we can at least it doesn't matter then if we have to reset a little bit. Um so let's force march. We should take out his territory here at Pig Bart, shouldn't we? What's quicker? Uh that's a river either way. You may look upon me. Ah, another army. Ooh, that's scary. Oh, that's Darkhold gone again, isn't it? Ah Capital first. I was just gonna plow on through that way. I should have gone that way and then we would have found these guys. No La rip. All right, we'll see what happens next turn. I think for unit names, I'm going to I'm gonna wait until we've dealt with Snitch to see who survives. Because I don't want to just do some names and then them all die. So let's just see how we do it over the next few turns. Oh, oh, hello. Hello, is that... Why is there so much Skaven? <laughs> okay, the Doom Claws coming straight for us. No. Ah! Also, I just realized I should have cancelled the buildings and then hit build again. Oh, good God. He's just... No, he's he's Force March. He's, he's at war with us. This is what happens when you kill the starting dwarf faction. Okay. 
fun. Right. Tough challenge it is. Oh, Grimgore's already smashing down through there. Fun, 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 fun. Snitch has no time for you. I feel if I can take them out, then we'll be able to deal with... Um... Hmm. Okay, cancel that because we're going to lose that for sure. We don't need to worry about that. We need to hold on to these. So I can force march back to Darkhold and we won't lose that, which is good. He is dead, dead. Uh, and then I can, if I can break these guys, I can probably get peace. But I've got to break them. Only the Asur may enter. Okay. Doesn't matter if they come and attack me now. We'll absolutely roast them. <laughs> this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. Challenge accepted. Uh, Darkhold, seeing as I'm sitting in it. Although, mm, I I'll start building this one up. Start building that one up. Mm, challenge, challenge accepted. We're going to be our first regiment renown. 10. Okay. This is fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> yeah. Survivors of Darkhold. That's quite a good suggestion. Yeah. They're hitting me there. Yeah. Mm, ruddy, ratty boys. I get why it says it's a hard campaign start. And why you guys were all like, it's a hard campaign campaign start, Lionheart. These guys don't have armor piercing, though. I feel like we can do a fair bit of damage here. My prowess is needed. No way the Dragon Prince will survive the next five turns. Uh, bet accepted. Use the sword. Ah, we will rally. Waggle, waggle. Sword waggle of victory. Da -da. Right. Um. In for deployment. There is. There's a rock there we can use to kind of pin our flank on. Uh, although, I'm just thinking, they've got reinforcement. Uh, it's only a small force, isn't it? Yeah, we'll hold here. Yes. My cavalry has to get some devastating charges in. But for that, we need to flank on round. We need to disrupt their force a bit. They've got extras coming in there, but we can still do a bit of disruption there. But we'll have the horse archers over there. And then we'll have the cavalry over here, just to pull them apart a bit. How much that sword cost? Uh, I think it was about 150 pounds. Without fail. Oh, I got it for a Christmas present from my mum and my brother. Christmas just gone. Done. You guys go there. And an eagle. Eagle's Gandalf. Battle call. Alright, just try and circle round, keep them busy. That's what we want to do. Mustn't let nasty rats take away all our shiny, pretty dragon princes, precious. <laughs> okay, that's a lot more than I thought they had as reinforcements. And they've got warp fire throwers. You are having a ruddy giggle. Illyrian archers. That's bonkers. Yeah, we're definitely losing this. Silver Staunch line of spears. <laughs> the meme is real. Yeah, there, there's only so much a staunch line of spears can do before much death. They can be the staunchest boys in the world, but against the vermin tide. Yarp. Maybe I can go and take out the warlock master at least. Ole! We will obey. We will obey. I want you guys to take out the warp grinders. Off the clam rats. Right, you pulled those guys out, which is good. Defend it with your lives. Peck them to death.
There's going to be some real tired cab. If I can get those warp fire throwers gone with my cab, then that'll be a uh, mission successful. Eagle, flappy, flap, flap, flap. Check his eyes out. For duty. Understood. Ancestors. Charge in there. Go, go, go. The Doric, thank you very much for subscribing with tier two sub for 37 months. <laughs> Give me off your face. Watch out for the warp fire. Warp fire hurt. Warp fire bad. Kill. Quick, before the warp fire. Basically, just keep swinging in between the two warp fire throwers if you can. Uh, and go, 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 Problem is when we run out of ammo. Had I be praised. Cab. Uh oh. March. At once. Run, 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 run. Oh, that was a terrible charge. Gotta go off the Doom Claw, I think. Battle call. Archers. Serve the king. Forward. To battle! Assar, forward! Ancestor! Archers! For our ancestors! Without fail! Onward! Quickly now! It will be done! I just want to see if I can take out some of those those warp fire throwers. Onward! A Syrian guides us! Loyal! Moving out! Move! Oh, the zaps are gonna hurt. Issuing a good, good bit of pain to them. Yeah. They've lost a thousand. For duty! Balance power is quite substantially against us now. They broke it. They've broken the line. That's it. Just see if we can get a charge into the warp fire throwers. Finish them off. And the Skaven slaves. Alright, uh, we're all gonna break. No! My charge! Hold cap Oh damn it, you wusses. Close to feet. I think he can win this. Uh, I'm gonna take that back. Yeah, no. Morale, morale. It, I mean if morale if they fought to the death, then we would definitely do more casualties, but no morale gave up. Lost nine hundred and twenty from Doomclaw's force and three hundred and sixteen from the second.
didn't take any of them out. So they're going to replenish up from there. Underway interception. Yes. Okay, you guys. Um, I kind of feel like every single uh, unit is going to be... It's going to need to count no here. So, uh, what am I giving you armor piercing damage? I'm going to give that to those guys. So, I kind of feel like... We'll fight this one because I'm pretty sure we can maybe do this with zero casualties or very few casualties. Because we can just bombard them with their archers. They've got no missile units whatsoever. Oh, boy. Right, start deployment. It shall be done. Loyal. Loyal. Nah, that's not what I meant. That's what I meant. It shall be done. Dragon princes. Oof, one mage. At once. Even done alive. Phoenix Sun. Locating. Yes. I will go. What Imric about Agreed. that? Following Ethua. Dragon princes. Quickly now. Fast forward it. Yes, this is on the beta. Nuts and bolts beta. We've had nuts and bolts. Ah, you sneaky boys. You are going to get some kills on me. That's real sneaky. But you are Skaven. Yeah, I've been on the nuts and bolts beta since the Eltharian stream where we put it on. For duty. Archers. For duty. Glory is mine. Okay, right. Charge on in. Just this one, another one in. Spearman. Acknowledged. Kind of my fault, actually, for not putting the archers with enough protection. I'll do it. Suffer my love. Archers, it will be done. Onward, without fail. Moving up. Dragon princes. Oh, dragon princes. That's cheating. To the fray. How dare you? For the dragon. Loyal. Do they all die in the underway? Or do we need still need to chase them down? Oh, seriously. Archers. It shall be done. Understood. Understood. Screw off rats. Attack. We go without fail. Right, there's the victory. The I think they will die. Since it was inception, they will die. Okay. Done. A glorious challenge. We lost 65. Probably better. Uh, I don't know if they're better than they all resolve. Cav check damage. Yeah, well, th not through mis mismanagement. No way to avoid the, the warp lightning. <laughs> Is the Black Hawk um, Big Boss still still bugged in new campaigns? They will rebuild Kalidor's Hawk. Uh, yeah, we'll take that replenishment. Right, well, at least that deals with... That, so that was the Clan Richter's force. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Underground battles are cool. Yeah, I do I like the I like the mix of terrain. I kind of wish there was a bit more variation in the maps, but hey-ho. Right, yeah, so that was the Clan Richter's one. Moonlance. Oh, boy. I don't want to give it to you, though. Um, 
We've powered all of them up. I could power up my dragons. Or we could start going through sword player. We get more speed. A bit more speed, make them a bit faster. Bow Beaumont, yeah. Beaumont, I wanna get I wanna get the dragon buffs, but yeah, we are You're in a range with Skaven, so I am gonna need I was wondering if I didn't need to get it with this, this one, but elves you always need bowmaster. That's true. Let's do that. We've got Vanguard Master. See you, Bento. Have a good time at work. We can get we can get all of it. Right. Um we get evasion and then flame storm and all that. How is our strength rank? 71. What really? That much of a dive? Behold. Wow. Whispers on the wind. If I don't I think I've, I feel like I've got to take that army out, awake. although it'll probably run. Curses. Killiest guy on the planet. Yeah, we'll also be able to make him fairly killiest. We'll go through all of his all of his yellow stuff, so we'll have, we'll have room for red, I think, still, and his top line. Plus, we can always respec him if we want to. Um. I noticed that Lionheart's webcam is strategically placed to block the Cav unit cards in the full-on. <laughs> Yes, that's the like No, it's right the next to the end turn bit here. Oh dear, is it blue rather than red? Okay, I think I think there's night. No, there's better buffs. I think yeah, powering up his force. Imric. Question is, do we go after them or do we go? Well, clan riches are going to come to us at Darkhold. We've got to, we've got to try and defend Darkhold. So I think we've got to push out and get rid of them. The dragons rage. Oh, ho oh, ho, sneaky boys. They had another army hiding behind. Ah ha ha. I mean, we'll be fine with Imric, I reckon. If not, this is like GG. <laughs> Sneaky led me into a, a sneak stab trap. Yeah, right. Well, we're going to fight this one. We've got to take out quite a lot of assassins. That's fun. That's fun. They have friends. Burning Head will save the day, yes. Burning Head will definitely save the day. So, we'll dive into this, but first, I'll have a quick little loo break. But if you watch this on YouTube, I think this is where we will call the end of episode one. A good hour and a half or so. Hope you've enjoyed. Until the next one, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, take part on the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet and Overclockers UK. Till the next one, ciao for now.